Today the students are taking part in some STEAM challenges. So there's two different activities happening. One, uh, the students are using Spiro to try and design a bridge. And another group is also using the Makey Makeys to try and uh, create an interface. So with six different buttons using different materials around the classroom. I think we've been given permission a little bit to, to let students uh, bring them themselves into the classroom. It never gets boring because they keep, just keep on trying stuff new. We were quite successful because it started over here and it ended right where we wanted it to. Uh, in the new Spring Line curriculum, there's some outcomes for collaboration and for using these kinds of tools. So it's really just bringing them all together with the things that we're doing in school already. But in these collaborative activities, yeah, it's, it can be a cloud and fun. Louis, we'll be here for a long time. Oh, nice. So I'm Susan Vanier. I am a grade four and five French immersion teacher at St. Catherine's School in Halifax. My name is Debbie Haas McLeod, and I was a member of the four to six streamlined curriculum team. Uh, that helped to put forth this innovative curriculum. I think the biggest change, there's two things. I think the emphasis on technology. I think teachers have been integrating technology into the classroom for years. It just was never, never had its own place. The other big change is that um, we're trying to integrate more. We're integrating science, social studies, health, visual arts, and the technology. Um, rather than taking them separately all the time, we're trying to find connections between the different subjects, integrating math and language arts with them as well. We know they need to be active, we know they need to be creating, we know that our classrooms need to be student-centered. And having those integrated blocks really allows for that time for students to see how we don't just leave math over here, we don't just leave language arts over here. We discover math as we're doing science. We discover language arts as we're working outside. St. Catharines has an amazing school garden and just this week we went out there and I had the grade fours um, examine the habitat that they could find, the different insects and worms and birds that they could find, evidence of that in the garden for science. And the grade fives at the same time were looking at the garden as well, but from a different perspective and thinking if the weather would change, how would that affect our garden? And I guess the connection that I made with that with other subjects would be um, language arts. They were representing their learning. They were gonna write about it in a journal after so even though the learning is still very structured and it's very planned out and thoughtful, it's just a little bit more flexible. Children get to take risks. It's okay if we're not just talking about science when we're doing science and that they make connections with social studies. And that's really a way for me to assess how much they're really taking in and what they have learned is if they are able to make connections. I'm really excited to see all of the different ways teachers will have the flexibility to truly engage with their learners and to create those innovative experiences that we know that our students need. Way too fast. So when it came to technology, the emphasis was not necessarily mastering each piece of technology. So we have Spiros and we have uh, Makey Makeys and whatever other resources you have at your school. But we really focused on the skills and what would come out when students were working with that technology. Skills is a big part of the new curriculum as well, especially in science and social studies. I wanted to be a pilot when I grew up. So what skills do you think you're learning now that will help you be a pilot? Well, like trying to control stuff. Skills like collaboration, teamwork, clear communication, speaking and listening, and working together through things. So using the Spheros, coming up with activities for that is a fantastic way to really put into action students uh, being in a real life situation where they really do have to work together and they really do have to collaborate. It has a teacher voice to it. So it's really something that we live and breathe ourselves. We really all had the same, I think, end goal in mind and it was to make it really a closer reflection of what students really were able to attain and also to make it as student-centered as possible. Um, make sure that there was room to include all students of all backgrounds. We had some indicators that were about diversity and we asked why isn't the whole outcome about diversity. So we changed the outcome and included diversity in the outcome so it would be understood that every indicator that followed under that outcome needed to include diversity. I truly believe that it will give teachers the flexibility to differentiate and meet the needs of each child, each learner, um, looking at their interests, looking at what really engages them, and helping them to share their strengths with the rest of the class as well.